Well, hello from Kingston. It's uh, minus 14 centigrade here, which is about 7 or 8 degrees Fahrenheit. And there's a certain amount of interest in just what's going on in the refurbishment of the Wolf Island Ferry Dock. So I thought I'd come down and have a look. Enjoy! Perhaps the best way to begin is to show you what the project is intended to achieve. This is the artist's conception of the final terminal. Later this year, a second all-electric ferry will join the existing ferry, the Wolf Islander 3, which we see arriving here. The ferry connects mainland Ontario and Kingston with Wolf Island, the largest in the Thousand Islands region of the St Lawrence River, with a population of some 1,400 souls. A key element of preparation for a two-ferry operation is the refurbishment of the terminals at both ends. The current ferry, which has been in service since 1973, makes a roughly 20 minute journey in each direction during most daytime hours. She was designed as an end loader and she can take about 55 cars and a maximum of 296 passengers on her 61 metre car deck. The new ferry will have space for up to 75 vehicles. The ferry service is run by the province with no boarding fee because it's considered to be an extension of the road network and provides the only public access to the island. The Wolf Islander 3 runs in all but the most stormy of weathers and her route is protected from icing in winter by a bubble channel on the bed of the lake. As we swing away from the existing dock, we can see that a substantial extension is already complete and that work to close the old dock space on the right, or south side, is progressing steadily. The current terminal and waiting area will be replaced by a new building with appropriate facilities for drivers and passengers, and the whole project is expected to be completed by 2023. It's complemented by parallel work at the other end of the route and a substantial dredging operation to ensure safe passage. Both subjects for another day. There are links below to answer any questions about this project. In closing, I'll leave you to examine the plan for the finished terminal area. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you like the content, please click below and consider subscribing for more in the same vein.